much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Seven hundred pounds. That's how much soil woodchucks dig out to make their underground homes, and how much scientists figure it would take to move the same amount of wood. Woodchucks are the same as groundhogs, which are rodents and the largest members of the squirrel family. They're the only animal with their own national holiday, which is also the most watched weather forecast each year. There's an old legend that on February 2nd, if the groundhog comes out of his burrow and sees his shadow, there will be six more weeks of winter. If no shadow, then he will come out and begin looking for food for the spring. This tradition comes from a time when people lived closer with nature, and they paid more attention to when animals awaken in the spring. It would be rare to see a groundhog in Missouri on Groundhog Day, since winter is usually only half over then, and they are still hibernating. Groundhogs gorge all summer on greens, fruits, and veggies to build up fat reserves. After the first frost, they go underground in burrows and into a deep coma. Their body temperature drops, and their heartbeat and breathing slows way down. Months later, when the weather gets warmer, their inner clock wakes them up. Groundhogs are known as great home builders, and their underground dens are about 20 to 25 feet long. Skunks, possums, foxes, weasels, and rabbits use their burrows too. Groundhogs are about 20 inches tall and weigh about 12 to 15 pounds. They have short ears, tails, and legs. Their jaws, limbs, and front claws are very strong. Mostly seen on the ground, they can also climb trees for fruit and swim. They aren't bothered as much by insects, germs, and past plagues because they are very clean animals. Even in their burrows, they have a separate tunnel for a bathroom. Their thick, coarse hair has been used for tying trout flies, and their hides for the soles of Indian moccasins. They have also been known as whistle pigs for the sharp sound they make when frightened. Their enemies are foxes, bobcats, and humans, especially when they invade people's gardens. They live about six to eight years in the wild. In April or May, mother groundhogs have about a half a dozen young. These are called kits or cubs. The best chance to see groundhogs in Missouri is in the spring, summer, or early fall, in open fields near woods or backyard gardens, while they try to feast before their underground famine. Happy Groundhog Day!